Hey, who's up for a little change of scenery today? Let's go on a field trip. Hey, it's Meredith from vidpromom.com, but I have a guest on my YouTube channel today. I asked Jessica Stansberry to come and collab with me because she has some really fantastic videos over on her channel for those of us who create video content as part of a broader business strategy. But when it comes to planning out content and coming up with an editorial calendar, planning out blog posts, or coming up with bullet points for YouTube videos, Jessica and I are kind of using dueling systems when it comes to the project management software. Jessica hails from the Trello camp and I'm really more of an Asana girl. And since I'm creating more content here on my YouTube channel around how to get serious about YouTube, I wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek into two different tools, two different systems that you can use to plan out your content, to brainstorm and really flesh out those ideas so that you can take action on actually creating creating those videos. So let's hop on the bus and see what Jessica has in store for us and then we'll loop back around and I'll show you what's going on inside of my Asana account. So while you're watching Jessica, I'm gonna go clean up the hot mess that is my Asana account. Hey, hey guys, I am so excited that Meredith asked me to come on this channel and share some knowledge bombs with you. My name is Jessica Stansberry and I do my YouTube thing over at the channel titled Jessica Stansberry. I'm obviously very original. Now I help business owners and entrepreneurs get on YouTube and use video to better their business so that they can grow bigger, grow better, and get more leads and more money, honey. So if you like that kind of thing, head on over and subscribe. I'd love to have you. Now I want to ask you a question. Do you struggle with not figuring out, not being able to know how to plan out your videos or organize your scripts or something like that if you're filming for your YouTube channel? Like is that something that you struggle with? I know that different people have different needs and different ways that they learn and keep up with things. And I know that Meredith is a big Asana user and she invited me on today to talk to you about the way I use Trello to do the whole organization of the video planning stage thing. And if you don't know what Trello is, it is a project management system and it is very, very, very visual. It is a drag and drop kind of thing. I have a couple of tutorials on my channel if you want to go watch those, but essentially, what is going on here is that we need to organize our stuff. Whether you use Asana or Trello or some other kind of program, it does not matter. But today I'm gonna run through how I organize my YouTube video planning, my scripts, all of that stuff with Trello. So let's head over to the computer and I will show you now. Here's a blank template of the board that I use. I will actually show you my actual template too. It's just a little messy. But in Trello, what I do is I create these five columns. And these five columns are key to making sure my stuff gets done. So I list out all video topics in this column, all filmed and ready to edit column or videos in this column, edited and ready for the blog here, blog complete and ready to upload here, and uploaded and optimized here. So what I do is I will add a card, let's say this is the video title. Video title number one demo, just to keep it good. I will add everything I need to add to that. So if I wanna add a checklist for the, um, Let's see, the upload checklist that I use, I will add that onto that card. I will check things off as I get them done. Um, I will go in here and add comments. So if I need to say like, um, you know, if I wanna write out all my tags here or my description prior to getting it uploaded to YouTube, I totally can do that. And just kind of type out anything I want here. Um, if there is a blog post that is happening for my this specific video, because I only do blog posts um, occasionally to match my videos anymore, then I will note out the keywords for my team. So you know maybe the keywords here are title of video, um, and then I will they will know to take that and plug it into Yoast and do some different things with my blog. So I do that if I want to script out my video, I have a script 
Google Doc that um, I give people in my YouTube Rockstars program. But what I do then is I will take that Google Doc and I will fill it out with the script and my talking points and whatever, and I will put it in that card. So I'll just link it there. Um, the other thing I can do and have done is just write out like talking points. Let's see. Now that I'm familiar with my overall strategy and script, I can just write out talking points like number one, tip number two, whatever. And I can write them out there and that way I can have my phone open while I'm filming and be scrolling through those or an iPad or whatever else you might want to be using. Then I also create labels that are specific to each stage. So if it's not been filmed yet, it's going to have a green label or I'm sorry, a yellow label. If it has been filmed and it's ready, it's going to have an orange label. If it has been edited um, and it's ready for the blog, it'll have purple, blue, and then red. And that way, when I look at the calendar view, which is what I really like to look at for my videos, I look at the calendar view, I can say, okay, so next week I have this video and this video and this video I need to get done. And oh, that one's been filmed and it's already ready on the blog. So if I look at this one, I might say, oh, this one hasn't been edited yet. I need to make sure that gets edited or get it to my editor or whatever. And that way I can look at it on a big picture scale and kind of know what is what. And just a little tip, if you click the labels um, on your cards, it will show what the label title is, which is really great if you just forget like what label you had assigned to what. So now it's got all of those there. Um, once the video is filmed, I'm going to move it over here. So then once it's ready to edit, I'm gonna move it there, or I'm sorry, once it's edited, I'm gonna move it there. Once it is, um, you know, written on the blog, I'll move it here. Once it is uploaded and I have to do nothing else with it, I'm gonna move it here. So we know everything in this column is complete. And that really helps because we can move it along throughout the process. The other thing is that if you go into Butler and I have a video on my channel for Butler for Trello, how to use that. But if you create a Butler command that says, when I add a card to this list, remove the yellow label and add the orange label, and then you continue to make Butler commands for each of these stacks, then it will do that for you. So you don't even have to remember to remove those labels and add the new ones. So that's a really fun hack as well. So essentially what happens here is I have all of these video topics and I have you know them all listed out. So when I think of a video topic idea, I create a card for it. Then as I'm planning out my content calendar, I look at the calendar view and um, I will add them to the correct day. So let's say I was um, looking at this and I thought, okay, I'm going to have a video go live on the 7th, 8th and 10th um, or in, you know, 14th, 15th, 17th. I'd say, okay, what videos do I want on each of these days? And I would click add the card um, and I would add it to the video topics list. And now it's got a date assigned already. And if I go here, it is on that list. So everything here needs to be filmed. Um, I go in order of how they will be published as far as filming them. Then I move them along throughout the process. Now I do want to show you my particular board because it's a lot messier than that one is. Um, and I just want to show you kind of how we've worked this out with team members. So, um, these are ones that I would have in the queue. These are ones that are ready to be edited. These are ready to be written. So I have an editor and a copywriter. So these two ladies help me get these things done. And then my team also puts them up on the blog. Once they're done on the blog and on the YouTube channel, we move them over to finalized and scheduled. So I can look at my calendar view and see what's what at any given time and see kind of where I'm standing. Thank you again, Meredith, for having me on your channel. It has been a blast. I hope you guys learned a ton. And if you want to know more about me, again, go to youtube.com forward slash Jessica Stansberry. And if you want a copy of the Trello board that I just walked you through, as well as all of the other boards that I have as templates for free, you can go to jessicastansberry.com 
forward slash copy my boards. So I will make sure that Meredith pops that in the description for those of you who want to grab it. And I hope you have an amazing day. Hey, thanks Jessica for laying that all out for us. I know that you're a Trello girl, so I knew that you'd be perfect for that job. I, on the other hand, plan all of my content in Asana, which has a lot of similarities to Trello, but it's laid out just a little bit differently. So let's hop on my computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for planning out, brainstorming, and dealing with my content, I have one main content calendar board called Content Calendar, and I have an ideas board where I dump ideas if something kind of just pops into my brain randomly. Uh, this is usually for video ideas and then I have another board for just blog post ideas as well. But when it comes to what's going on in my content calendar right now, like what am I working on this week, I just open up my content calendar and I work right from here. I have some due dates. You can see I have some due dates that I've missed. I change this stuff around a lot. It's like in a constant state of flux. So these due dates get changed a lot. I can just move things around, put them in different order. Um, there's a calendar view if that's easier, um, but I like the list view because I just kind of like to see uh, what's been scheduled and then I have this whole list of stuff down here that I need to actually put a date on and schedule and really start planning it. I love that with Asana, nothing is really set in stone. You can change the due date, you can move something to another project board, you can move things around and just keep all of all of the planning that you've done so far is just attached to your project um, item. So I might start with just putting in a topic idea and then maybe a week from now, I'll put in some ideas of, you know, maybe what exactly I would wanna cover in that video or in that blog post. And then later on down the road, I can flush it out even more and actually start writing what that blog post is going to look like, start putting some bullet points together of what I'm going to say in my video. One of the things I really love about Asana is that it has an app. So I can plan all my stuff over there on my computer and it's a lot easier to type on a keyboard. Um, and then when I'm in front of my camera, I have it all right here on my phone. One of the things that really, really, really helped me out when I was first starting creating videos videos and creating blog content and stuff is I had two little kids and so I couldn't always sit at my computer and just like brain dump everything out and really plan things out with no distractions. Sometimes I had to let my content be the distraction and I could write things out on my phone, come up with ideas, put them down. I can type things in here. I have scripted entire videos before on my phone. When you're busy and you're a mom and sometimes this is the only computer that you have access to, um, Asana, Trello, it's so easy on your phone. And uh, if it's the only way that you can get it done, then get it done. So give this video a big thumbs up if this was helpful for you to see the two different ways that you can use two different tools to kind of plan out your content. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful for you. Do you use a Trello? Do you use a Sana? Do you use some other app or piece of software? Do you just use a pen and paper? I'd love to know kind of where you're at with that. Um, and like I said, hit that smash, hit that smash button. Like I said, hit that like button and go subscribe to Jessica's channel. I'll put a link here somewhere, somewhere around in here. Um, she has really great videos about coming up with content ideas, how to get your videos to rank on YouTube, and all kinds of other business content video stuff. So thanks Jessica for joining me today and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button over here as well before you go and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Oh, and if you are into podcasts and things related to video and business and behind the scenes kind of stuff like this, you should check out my new podcast, the Video Pursuit Podcast. And also Jessica has a podcast as well called All Up In Your Lady Business. And it's it's a business podcast, not it's not what it sounds. You should check it out. <laughs>